Hey guys, Kirill here. I wonder how you're going with the course. Hope you're enjoying it so far. You're through the live testing results and I wanted to post a quick update. So today is Monday the 24th of August 2015. It's 1.30 p.m. in Brisbane, Australia. And currently I'm just testing out a broker which I'm kind of interested in checking out. And I'm I've created a few orders today morning just, just to see what's going on in the market and so on. And I was actually going to share with you another triangle pattern that I found. I really uh, I really think that they're very powerful. And as you saw from the previous videos of the live testing, we've had some good results. And today, once again, I just wanted to show you what happened here. So this is the Euro franc. And so as you can see, there's this triangle. I'll switch it back to the bars and you can see how nicely it's forming this is the five minute time frame i could first time i spotted it was like on the hourly time frame when you whenever you see on the hourly time thing, time frame something going on like that so right now the euro currency pairs are going up so euro is going up all across the board and also you can see the the franc uh currency pairs or well dollar franc is going down meaning that franc is going up right so let's find another one british pound swiss franc is going down so both what does that tell us? That tells us that both the franc is is getting stronger and the euro is getting stronger. So then I moved on to the euro franc currency pair, and I like because they're both getting stronger, they're kind of battling. It's like <laughs> I even made this comment to myself, like battle of the titans for today. Anyway, they started the strong a strong day both of them, and that's why you can see like this uh, flat movement because one is going very strong against other currency pairs and the other one's going very strong against other currency pairs and it's for them it's like they're fighting for the first place you can say it that way and when you see something like this on a higher time frame you move down slowly and you see that it's actually it's not just a flat it's actually a triangle that's forming here and once i saw that i was like yep i'm in <laughs> i'm gonna get into uh, get on in on this and uh, once again this is just because i'm testing out the broker i i don't want to you know commit to a, a full uh, throttle trading strategy or anything like that this is i'm just you know kind of having fun but this is a real uh, real account just to uh clarify that i've got two thousand australian dollars and today i made 55 australian dollars just by testing the broker so i don't really um this is test funds this is this is not money that i'm like relying on or or f battling for or, or you know working to get this is just just to test it out anyway so so the triangle and uh, decided to put as i advise or not advise i don't advise as i showed you in the course as i normally do i put two orders so one buy stop you can see it over here so i'll just put a line through it that's the buy stop and the sell stop was over here you you can't see it on the chart because it's gone but Let's see what happens if I drag it on. So there's a sell stop. I'll just delete that. That's where I put the sell stop. And you can see where I put it. So this vertical line, I'm going to, oops, that's not a vertical line. I'm going to fix this one up. This is an, an unplanned tutorial for this course. Uh, so excuse me if it's a bit ad hoc. Okay, so I've got the vertical line here. And let's make it a bit wider. Okay, so this is when I placed both the ta uh, the um, sell stop and buy stop. So I placed them at this point in time. It was, um, well, according to this server time. By the way, this broker doesn't have servers in Australia. It has servers in America. It's a whole different story. Anyway, so I pre placed the buy stop and sell stop over here. As you can see, like the triangle... It just works. <laughs> it's two strong currency pairs at the moment. Something is going to happen. And it happened. And where did I place my take profit? You see this line over here? This is how I measured the base. Uh, just like we discussed in the course. So if I just move this back, just remember that where, where the take profit was hit. It was hit exactly at the top of this movement. How did I get the top of the movement? Well, look, this is how I got this line in the first place. I measured the base of my triangle, right? So somewhere like that. And then I placed it, so I thought, okay, maybe the it won't shoot out right away. So from here, it won't shoot out like immediately. It'll probably shoot out in like a couple of bars at least. So then I put the line where I thought it would shoot out, right? And then I put the take profit just below half of the base. And that's exactly what we discussed in the course, that you place your take profit at around half the size of the base of the triangle. As you can see, it worked perfectly here like the take profit closed and then the price turned around. 
well, if we look at the bars, there was a bit of a movement more upwards, right? Um, but not that much more. And you don't want to f run off to these little things. And the other point is that it didn't go all the, the whole base of the triangle. It just went past half the base and then turned around. And so, yeah, that's that's the triangle pattern. Uh, what else did I do today? Um, there was a good trade over here somewhere. This one? No, it was on... Give me a second. It was... See, I've even got comments here. Test 02, test 05. Uh, was it the Euro Frank? Um, ba -bum. No, it was the British Canadian. There we go. So here was a good trade. So what can we see here? I'm going to just switch this grid off um, so you can see more. Okay. So here what happened was I don't usually trade against the trend, right? But what you could see here was a, a strong trend all the way. And then as I opened the chart, I could see this candle forming. So this is something we haven't discussed in the course, but you know, it's another thing. Uh, you see this candle shooting upwards very quickly. So that's the point that I saw it form extremely quickly. It was like, it just went like, bam, very fast upwards. What happens in these situations, if it's not, if it's not some news or something that's forcing the market to go and, that's, and it's gonna keep going that way, if it's just like a spontaneous, maybe a session opened or um, you know, a company announced it's, uh, that it's, or a bank is having like a, not a major, but a minor intervention or, or something is happening in the world, some geodemographical geo uh, cataclysm or something. Something happened very quickly, but it's not major, right? So I didn't hear anything on the news. I, I know it's not a Friday. So I don't think that there's something major going on. What usually happens after that is the currency retraces a little bit. So people go in and then what, what happens? People see this movement is going fast. If I put the tick volume back on here, you see, you see the tick volume here uh, in, in Forex, uh, tick volume is basically, it's not the same as volume on the stock market or anything. It's just how many ticks there were in this bar. Like how many times did the price change in this bar? And so there was, there's a lot of volume. So people were like, it was moving very quickly and people could see that. And what the traders do, especially novice traders, um, they try to jump onto that movement. They try to get on. So they're like, oh, this, the, the bars are going fast upwards. You know, I got, I got to get in, get in on this. I'm going to miss out and never do that. That's, that's not a good idea. If you miss the train, you've missed the train. So you can see here, like it took a couple of uh, minutes. This is the minute time frame, maybe like half an hour or something, but it was going very quickly, like in a minute. Here you can see it went, what, 13 pips and then like very quick. And this is a, this is a Monday morning. So this is just the Asia trading session. Uh, we talked about trading sessions also in this course as well in the, at the start. So you know that it shouldn't be very quick. It should be kind of like lazy and slow. Um, and it's like going very quick, very quick. People are trying to jump onto this movement. And what happens? Um, the, the late traders, they jump in over here. And that's when the smart traders start selling. Like the traders that are late, they want to buy. And that's when the smart traders are selling off this movement that they got from, from the bottom to the top. And now they're getting out of the market. So there's a lot of currency being, so British pound, there's a lot of British pound being released into the market. And all the late traders, they're buying it. While the uh, traders that came in earlier, they just get rid of, rid of the currency. And because there's so much currency, uh, excess currency, the price is going down. And that's when you jump in. Like it doesn't always happen, but if you can see that it's happening, that this exact scenario is happening, then what, in this case, what I did is I jumped in and I just, you know, capitalized on that movement back, like kind of little retracement that happens after quick movements like that. Quick, unexpected and unexplained movements like that. And that's it. And, um, and then I got out. I even put a buy stop order, a uh, buy limit order somewhere here. So I was going to, you can see it, somewhere here, buy limit there. So I was expecting, I'll drag it onto chart. I was expecting the price to turn around. So I knew that it, it's it's against the tra trend. It's not gonna last forever. This downward movement is gonna keep going up, right? So I put a buy limit and I said, okay, so if, it, if this retracement goes through a little bit more, then I'll get in on a buy, but it just didn't, um, didn't trigger my buy limit. So you can see the price crossed here, but as you know, this is the bid price that's illustrated and buy orders get opened at the ask price. So the ask price was just above. I could see it, I could see it here and then just w went away. And then I was like, okay, no, I'm, I don't want to get in here. It's a bit too late because if I, I got in here on a buy order, I would have to sit through all of this and uh, not, not, not good, especially if I'm just testing these things out.
So that's uh, the two trading trades that I did today. Two, I did a couple more, but those are the two most interesting ones. There was, there was another big one somewhere, um, or big, you know, quotation marks big. Um, oh no, those those are the two bigger ones because I went I, I went in like uh, zero point two five lots and zero point two lots. Anyway. Um, Hope you enjoyed this and uh, main, main focus, of course, was a triangle pattern that it does work. So keep, uh, keep um, you know, maybe learning the triangle pattern and researching it more. And uh, heads up, uh, I'm testing out this broker and maybe, maybe, just maybe uh, I might um, update my uh, preferred brokers list soon and I will let you know if that happens. And until next time, enjoy the course and trade well, trade safe, trade fun and happy trading. I look forward to seeing you later on.